What's up guys, we are here with some OST as this is Tamahomi versus I don't know his opponent. I mean it says Jenny SP but this could be an old. So this is HPI is Tango with I'm pretty sure that we saw Steve Angela bring this team to SPL last week. Thankfully my net is back, it's SPL Sunday. I hope my net's days. It was dead the complete Saturday, so I missed like I don't know how many SPL games I missed. I know I missed Eternal Spirits game, I missed Adore's game, it was really annoying. So someone said that a Crossmo wins this game. Especially yeah, if it's the setup thing it wins, which it should be. This is game one that started um I didn't expect my net to come back today because it's Sunday and like I thought it would just come back on Monday because it was like that the entire Saturday. Thankfully it's back. But yeah, this is just a fat team, it's not super interesting, but I still want to record something. Since there's no SPL, like the next SPL match will be in like... 4 hours or so. I mean that's Gen 2 go was going on just like a few seconds ago, but I didn't really have interest in that. So we see Zapdos get rid of the teeth bikes and the rocks, but that Psyshock does a ton, that might be that might be Twisted Spoon Lele. But if it doesn't have Taunt, the Chansey just eats it up. Oh, it has a crit, never mind, so the Chansey is dead. That also might have been... I don't think that was a roll, I could pretty much mad, because 46 two times. I mean, yeah, I don't know why Tamahomi didn't go to Metagross or so Stila. I mean, yeah, Metagross especially. Not sure. I mean, yes, having Chansey healthy would have been nice, but yeah, I don't know. So Metagross comes in now. Pursuit would be nice, but since he has two Steel types, and yeah, like, I don't expect this to be Pursuit. And. I don't remember the set, but I think this is like Bolt Beam, Metagross with Earthquake. I remember, like, I remember Steve Angel used this team, but I don't remember every set. I think the... I mean, I know it's common across, but I don't, I don't remember if it's... Iron Defense, though. So we, I can see, like, a double switch p happening here, because... No one stays in with Ferrazon unless you have Protect. Like the double predicting the guard jump or predicting um Kitapa okay, Lilla comes in. Yeah, that also makes sense. Nice play there by Tama Homie. So the Celestia is just getting healthier. I'm not really sure about the damage because is it 64 to Celestia that I might be is that Specs type of Lilla? If that spec step with Lily and Sashuk only did 46 to Chansey, Chansey is so fat. Okay, it's not specs to change that moves, yeah, I was about to say. And, like, there's no way Chansey only takes 46 from from that. So he just was switching around there for a bit. Necrozma took a Moonblast to the face. Actually, Zapdos took a Moonblast, not Necrozma. Doubles out into Zapdos. I mean, if he roosts it, Lily just comes back in, so... There's that, like he still doesn't have good answers to this. I guess Metagross is his best answer, but since he doesn't have Pursuit and this Metagross is getting worn down, so he's fishing for the para now, gets a crit, but doesn't get the para. So he's just gonna click Moonblast here, I assume, or he clicks Sashuk again. Moonblast doesn't kill this though, like, but what does Necrozma do? Moonlight? Okay, I don't remember this being Moonlight, but yeah. I thought it was Rest for some reason, but. Well, that makes sense, I guess, because he has heal balance chances you get rid of status. Yeah, like, I just wanted to check um, the threat for OST. I already checked the SBL threat and saw that I missed like 12 games yesterday, but most of them were for like tiers that I'm not interested in. I only missed like 4 or 5 Sun Moon games and maybe a few Aurora games, which is not that, it's okay. 
not that big of a deal. And also there was smoke tours. I don't know if I should record anything of smoke tours. Let me let me know in the comments if you guys want to see any smoke tours action. I might participate in one, but probably not because I'm trying to catch all these SPL games for you, especially today. Hard to chomp was a nice play. Like the only thing that does have to hit chomp potentially is HPIs, and I don't think it's HPIs on this team, especially since Celestia already showed that it's HPIs. Double HPIs would be weird. I actually don't know if, like, if the Lele would be healthy, Tamahomi would straight up lose to the Lele, kind of. I mean, not straight up, but it's just a big threat to him since his Metagross is getting lower. The Crossma took damage. So, like, he doesn't have good switch in Celestia, I cannot switch into a bolt Heatwave there, what did he predict there? Maybe he was just fishing for a burn, I don't know. Predicted Landris or Guardchomp last turn. But this time he's discharged, I don't know. Zapdos just got blown away, I think Tamami loses this one. Like... Now he's, he lost his defog, so like... I guess, nah, I guess he could have defog. I guess he could have defog on the Tapu Fini too. Did the Zapdos have pressure? Yeah, Zapdos had pressure, so it was a defogger potentially. I mean, not potentially, we saw it go for defog, yeah, on turn 7. Just not sure if, the, if it's double defog, but I don't think it's double defog on this team. So, like, he can get up, like, rocks and spikes. Did he show spikes, or did he only show T-spikes? I'm actually not sure. I mean, the Ferrothorn is pretty obvious, so you kind of have to double, but, like, you don't have much to pressure Ferrothorn, you can go, you can double into Celestealer here. But I don't really see the wind condition now, after losing. The Zap doesn't have a chance for you. Like, I don't know why you would mash there, because the Ferrothorn is so obvious. Like, I guess in case you predicted the opponent to stay in, because the Ferro was in the back. But like, you only have 4 months and he has 6 months, he can afford to play safe, you have to make plays if you're on the back like this. So like, there was no way he was not going Ferrothorn, I feel like. Unless he was fearing a potential hammer arm, but pretty sure this doesn't have hammer arm, the way he has played this Metagross earlier. Yeah, only have Earthquake, which doesn't do much, considering Leech Sheet just heals back, like even though you get the attack boost, it's just a launch for Ferrothorn. You can double Leech Sheet here, but okay, just gets up a spike, that's also a nice play. He just revealed the spikes. I mean, yeah, he's just gonna get up a T spot now or um, fish for scald burns. I guess he can predict the type of to have defog and double into um, something that pressures the type of I mean, nothing really pressures type of I guess he could go feral, but yeah, just getting T spikes, I would save like even if the Fini has defog. I guess he got us in a cross mine before the T spike got up, which is something so. It's a last ditch effort now, he has to try and sweep with Necrozma. Which he can actually potentially do. I don't know why he went for stored power there. Oh, okay, it's Haze. Yeah, I don't think he can win then. I forgot about Haze. Yeah, not going for combat makes sense because Haze is obvious and Toxapex, my bad. Not thinking clearly there. I mean, yeah, this game is over. Landers just kills this with two earthquakes. Like even if you went for moonlight, it only has a few PP. So we will um I will see you guys with game two. I'm gonna pause it. I'm on this uh, I'm on OBS, so we'll have to cut it together later on. But yeah, that should be fine. Like I can deal with that. See you guys with game two. Okay, okay, we're back with game two. See some nice Magina Tangrove. I don't know, like it depends on the Magina set, but I think like if you if you call this team bulky offense or if you call it balance. Depends on some of the sets. Like if it's tank jump and A V Magina I would like call it 
more like balance but if it's like both offensive like shift Gimagina and offensive jump I guess you can call it all a bit more offensive like it's definitely on bear offense for sure but he expects him scarf jump is here and he expects him to not to go for ice beam to not go for ice beam I guess uh, I feel like I've seen this team use somewhere but the Marowak Greninja Goes into Marowak predicting the Tangrowth, that's a fire play, like knowing he's locked, knowing the guard jump was locked into Earthquake, the Tangrowth was free, pretty free there. Firebunch doesn't Oko though, I don't think the crit really matters. Yeah, this is why uh, Firebunch Marowak is, I don't even want to say it's weak, but fi like Firebunch is a weak move. Flyblitz with Rockhead is actually fire set, like it's mainly used on Trick Room. Rockhead, like for sweeping with Marowak, so in Trick Room you're super fast, right? So that you don't take recoil, um, Rockhead is like pretty nice, but... Like, Tapu Kokos... Cannot Volt Switch on you if you have... The other ability, what's it called? Lightning Rod, but since you, like... Most type of cocos go for you then anyway if they see a if they see a Marowak until they find out it's a rocket I guess. So we see the um scissor come not the scissor, the landers coming on the scissor, get up rocks, you turn out. If we do the scissor onto Tangles and we do the Tangles into Chomp just to get some regenerator. I mean You can just click Moonblast you're pretty safe. Yeah. That's a Solvest Tango, that are absolutely nothing. I guess Nature's Madness would have been fine too, yeah. But wasn't the Scissor, did he predict the meta? I mean, if he's Defog Scissor, okay, yeah, he showed Pursuit earlier. That's a really nice play, predicting him to switch. Defog also would have been nice there, I guess. Pursuit runs, um, I think they run Roost and probably U turn. And then either, yeah, obviously Bullet Punch. Not SD, my bad, yeah, not SD. Obviously Bullet Punch. Like last move could be. Nah, no, it has to be U turn, I think. It doesn't have to be, but it makes sense. I mean, let's see. Like, he doesn't have. His team is grounded, he's super weak to spike, so I guess it could be D4 on Scissor. Goes into Chomp predicting a Fire Blast there, because Scissor would have died to that. Would be nice to see um, this go for his D and Z move, but he just gets up his rocks. So I assume the Lambs will just off quick. Oh, it's HP fire? No, it's HP ice, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, did he predict the scissor coming? Is that, is that you, ABR? Do you have HP fire on your scissor? So I guess this Lambs is just getting chipped away. Yeah, HP ice makes, I mean, HP ice makes sense in this meta, but some teams are like, some teams run HP fire if you super weak to scissor. Like, Scizor is a pretty decent Mega on this meta, because Metagross is so stupid, like, honestly, when is Metagross getting suspect tested, guys? In ours, at least, Metagross had to Mega Evolve to get the 110 base speed, but now it's just super fast. I mean, not super fast, but, like, considering Metagross is bulky and hits so hard and has, like, good, great coverage, 110 speed on top of that is pretty decent. Probably just gonna bullet punch here. He didn't bullet punch, he picked him to switch. Dang. This man is getting. I don't wanna say played, but he kinda got played. I'm not trying to talk shit though. I don't know if I should upload this series. It's not the. Bu like, it's not that su most super interesting series. But there's like no SPL until in like 4 hours I think. I mean I can click, we can look at the schedule what is coming up today. Adam vs PDC. And some Ubers games. Jimmy Turbid explained GSC, I'm not recording that but I just saw his name so I was checking the TV. We have Scarface coming up later, we have Obliviate vs X-Ray which is interesting. Porsche versus lefties. 
It's like, what can you go out into here and do? Like into your scarf or either, or I guess you can go Majorna because that lives any hit. I mean, Shift Game Majorna can potentially win this game. But it gets still outsped by Scarf to both a shift gear pretty m I think. It, sh I th it might not get outsped, I, I don't know, it can't, you can probably... If you want max speed, you might outspeed jump. Even with Scarf after the shift gear. I think that Scarf jump, cause like, yeah he's weak to Volcarona. <clears throat> so the Landris is probably just gonna get sacked off here to the little bit. It's not like he has good switch ins. I mean Metagross dies to rock, so I guess he can just sack the Metagross instead. But he can still defa potentially later on. <clears throat> and Metagross is faster than Landris, so it's not Scarf Lele. You can sack the Landers, get a defog off coming later on with the Metagross when the Lele is in and like kinda get a kill because the, the Tangros is at like 60 ish after rocks. And after regenerator. Um so it should get to it killed from Mesh easily. Or Mesh into Ice Punch, whatever you guys like whatever you wanna click. So yeah, Landers just gets sacked off. But I don't think that's a scarf lately since he already had scarf jump and and he has bullet punch on scissor, he has some speed control already. And scarf lately doesn't make much sense on his team, like he doesn't have the best ways to break fat. So I could see this being twisted spoon or shut shell. <coughs> Like you either go to Tabu Fini here or you go to Greninja. I guess you can go to Garchon too. Earthquake should kill from 76. Mm, I guess you, maybe you don't want to default because rocks are nice to chip a bit more at the, so the Terror doesn't regenerate that much, health, that much health. But I don't think, like I feel like getting rocks off just so Managros doesn't die to rocks is nice. I mean, don't you go Greninja here and you can click HP Fire predicting the Majorna to come in. If you have that. I like, unless you ask Greninja. If you ask Greninja, you can click Hydro Pump. Which would let the tank wolf come in, but since Tamahomi doesn't notice that, I think he would just go Majorna. But yeah, okay, he goes Garchomp first. And now you have to predict the tank wolf, I think. The tank wolf is so obvious, like. He just plays it safe. I guess, yeah, I guess he's like in the. F he has one one more. Is he trying to predict the double switch? I don't agree with the double off quick play. I guess maybe he predicted the double switch. Nah, I don't know. Uh, nah, he didn't have good switch into Tangrove. Maybe he could have sacked his Metagross there. But yeah, otherwise he didn't have switch into Tangrove. But I don't know if you would, I would have gone for off quick there. Like, if he's the standard guard champ set, I think they run Dragon Claw Outrage, Rock Slide, and Earthquake, but someone Poison Jab, which is not super common. And I like to run I like to run Fire Blast on my Scarf Jump to hit Ferrothorn, stuff like Tangrove, but since this is AV Tang with Fire Blast, wouldn't have done that much. So he didn't have, like, just Earthquaking again was just, I guess he didn't have a play. He didn't have a switch in anyways, and now he defog so his Metagross comes back. I feel like Majorna kinda wins this one though. Tangrove gets the roll on the Fini. So I don't even know, Ice Punch probably kills from 41, right? I don't know if Mash would kill.
But which ninja did come out earlier in the game? Oh yeah, okay, that was Tamahomi's Grinja that was revealed. Okay, hit the mash. So probably mash would have killed the tank, otherwise we don't go for it. And yeah. Earthquake crit will maybe kill the Magirna, but doesn't, so it's trick room Magirna. Magirna just wins this now. So we will go to game three after this. Z move Magirna. Getting that so hard activated as a Z Shadow Ball. Um, yeah, I hope I hope we don't see stall in game 3, that would be ook. I don't want long games like that. Oh, it's Water Shuriken Greninja, but Psychic Turin was up anyways. Why did he click Water Shuriken? I mean, the trick one was still up after this, so Tang was revenges him even if he kills the Magirna, so it didn't matter. I'll see you guys with game 3. Okay, here we are with game 3, and thankfully, no stall. Damn, this looks like something Padla would use. Ferrothorn, <laughs> Dapofini. <laughs> so we'd probably just see um, rocks exchanged here. Never mind, he just. Um, yeah, it makes sense that he doesn't go for rocks with his Ferrothorn because he has a pincer that he wants to defog for. So, like, if you set up rocks and you have a pincer, you just have to defog anyway. So, yeah, I don't know, like, if I agree with rocking there. I would have just... I would have either attacked the Landers or maybe switched into my own Landers there. But he makes a really nice play protecting on the explosion. Oh, I did not see that coming. What the... What? Explosion Landers? That's not something you see every day in Sun. I mean, was it a Sash lead? I mean, it had an SD, so I don't know if it was Sash. That's odd to not see it Z being Z move SD at rocks. That set is a bit more common. I mean, I get the protect breaking the Z move, but. Did he break the Supersonic Sky Strike? That was risky, though. What if he SD'd again? I mean, Scarf and the Hilligo can looks like a threat, kind of. If he can weaken the Metagross. Like if it's Scarf and Hilligo, but mm -mm. I don't know why he went into Gengar here. That's odd. Cause I mean, yeah, he has an Intimidate on this Feral Thorn, but weakening Feral Thorn is amazing though for Tamahomi because Metagross is a threat after Feral Thorn goes down. So I assume he has HP eyes on his Tangworth, uh, otherwise he could have gone Tangworth maybe. Um, if he was Specs Keldeo, he also could have gone to Keldeo, but nah, Keldeo just gets walled by Tapu Fini unless, you're the, unless you have CM plus Breakneck Blitz, which doesn't even do that much. I think it's like 70, I don't know the Kalk. Oh yeah, I just realized protecting there again was a bad play, yeah. He protected last turn, I completely forgot. <laughs> Damn. What if it's not watch this not be choice Gengar? Yeah, it's not choice Gengar. I don't know if I would have gone to Fini there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's thirty-three percent to get it out protect, yeah. I mean, now he hasn't. I guess he can go back to Feral Thorn on a. Oh, go. And the Hilligo also works on a Sludge Wave, but he goes for Z move there. Gigavolt Havoc, good god. So it's T Bolt Gengar, what does that even lure in? I guess it's to hit Spadef Celestina really hard. Look at the Hilligo eating it up. Are these like Spanish people talking the chat? I think I don't understand much. Scarf and Heligo eats up a Shadow Ball, but Heligo dies to rocks now, so Tamahomi is pretty free to go Metagross here, yeah. 
If he has pursued on his Metagross, this would be the time to go for it. I could see it's being pursued. Because he doesn't have another steel type that can check um, stuff like Lily Reliable. I mean, you just go. You just go Ferrothorn here. If it's not Hammer Arm, you are feel free to go Ferrothorn, but. Would it be Hammer Arm on this team? Let me see. I mean, it could be, it could be Hammer Arm, so I guess going Ferrothorn is a bit risky. Um, you kinda cannot afford to sack the Fini, you wanna defog later on. But Pinsa, Pinsa doesn't win anyway at the moment, like... Pinsa, Pinsa's a threat, but it doesn't win yet. It kills the Gengar with Quick Attack, it kills the Tangrowth. It beats Metagross one-on-one, -on -one, I think. So you just have to get damage on the Coco and, like, the Pinsa can win. Yeah, this time um, it made sense to me because he was kind of weak to Pharaohs on this team. So I don't know if I agree with going hard Pharaoh. Like, I think you had to sack the. I think you either sacked on the Hilligo there or you. Yeah, I think you only had to. Like, you didn't have good switchings anyway to this. Like, you, going Landers is too risky on a potential Ice Punch. Yeah, going Landers on Hammer would have worked. And then. But then he wouldn't have gotten the Intimidate off because the Menagos just Mega Evolved. So now you just took um, 63 on your Pharaoh so on. I mean, I don't want to shit talk, but I, th I feel like the hammer arm was like... It was kind of likely that he had hammer arm on this team because he was kind of weak to Pharaoh. Brings in the Landris, so... This is probably a double dance Landris? I don't know if I would have SD there on a potential Ice Punch. So he's gonna scout for Super Sconic Sky Strike, I, th I feel like. But. I don't know, I feel like he had to maybe go for HP Ice there. Like, let's let's think that through. Like. If he loses the Tangrove. Yeah, if he loses his Tangrove to um, Super Sonic Sky Strike, he still could have revenged this with Ice Punch, so. I don't know if I would have let this rock polish. I see this able the earthquake, that's pretty amazing for him. Um the Metagross probably dies to, to Z move anyway. Or the plus two what what health is the Metagross? It's at 46. It dies to probably Z move. I don't know if it dies to Z Rock, but it dies to Z Fly. I can just repeat myself like so he's probably is he scuff killed? Z moves like not Z moves. Curse body always activates for some reason. Not I guess not only in SP, it also activates in OST. Um, so he's banking on this being Rock Z move, I assume, because Z fly would just blow this Kelly away. Unless unless Scarf Kelly outspeeds Double Lance Lander, but I don't think it does. Like you should run enough speed on your land with to outspeed Ke Scarf Kelly for the Rock Polish. Lando should be able to do this. It's at 90, it's at, it has 91 base speed. It should be able to outspeed kill. What does Tamomi play again? Does he play? I think he plays DPP. But don't quote me on that. So he goes hard Fini to get the defog off. Because the water move is obvious. But the Hydro Pump... Ah, it doesn't do it KO after lefties. I, like, I assume you defog here, yeah. And now, like... As AB, I would say, no one hits three Hydro Pumps besides Anti. So I guess you can go for the dodge here. Oh, you can... Can go Ferrothorn potentially. I don't know why he switched his Landris out. I guess he didn't have he didn't have Z Fly then if he switched to Landris. But the Landris doesn't set up on anything anymore. Assuming it's HPI's Tangrove. Um I would like not protect here because be sure that Kelly is gonna switch. Okay, never mind, he predicted him to not protect. He predicted him to not protect and run for Hydro again, that's a wild play. And he didn't get the roll there. And now he misses a Hydro Pump. I mean, he hit four Hydro Pumps, but that sucks so much. Like, 
I know, I know it's hydro bomb, but you're gonna eventually miss it. I think that was the fifth hydro bomb, but I didn't count. And now this frozen's getting health back. Like you can protect here, yeah, exactly, and get more health. I was thinking if you should leech again, protecting a double, but protecting it was safe. And now the hammer arm kills the Ferrothorn, so I think he's gonna go for Ice Punch, predicting the Landris. Like, that was so obvious. Um, yeah, okay, nice play. Maybe he doesn't have Ice Punch, but at least he predicted him the switch. I feel like he should have sacked maybe the Feeny there. Doubles into Ferrothorn, interesting play. Why is yeah, Ferrothorn is super good this gen, yeah. Mazari said <laughs> killing Ferro this gen is super annoying. Um. I don't know if it's worth it to make a risky play here with Ferrothorn and stay in. I what did he, why did he go Tapafini? Why didn't he go Landris? Oh yeah, Landris was a 57. 57 and the Keldia seems to be yeah. Is it spec scale that actually didn't pay attention that much? Nineteen to Ferrothorn is not that much damage, I don't think that's specs. So I guess the Landers might have gone turret kill from Secret Sword because it's offensive Landers. I didn't think about that. I thought the Landers was a bit healthier. Um I don't know about rock polishing there, because this Tangles checks you. Like if anything USD there and then you can kill the Tangles with the Z with the Z rock move next turn. I assume this is the rock move. But yeah, I made some mispredictions this game already, so I'm not trying to talk loud. I don't know how often I said this already. Um, Like, this should be HPIs. Oh wait, did he already show HPIs on his Landers? Because if he has HPIs on his Landers, maybe this is HP fire on the Tangrove. Goes hard into pins predicting HPIs, works out fine. And now something is probably dying to a frustration. Unless he wants to go hard into Coco on a, on a frustration. He sacks off the Metagross. Um, SD would be a cool play, but doesn't really accomplish anything because Coco revenges you anyway. So yeah, frustration is obviously the play. And now you can go. F now you can go Feral Zone. I don't think this would be HP Fire. Coco his best way to like. Like Hammer Arms is lure to hit Feral Zone. I don't. That's not really a lure. Because on a team like this that's weak to Ferrothorn, you would expect him out. Gets the Tangles in, and now he's gonna attempt to knock off the leftovers from the Ferrothorn. And the Pinsir is in the back, so if Tanami has Rock Slide, he could go for that, right in the Pinsir. That would be a godly prediction. Um, He can also make a double into like. Now, he, he cannot really make a double, because if he makes a double, he just takes rocks and like. He just goes back into Ferrothorn if he makes a double into Coco, so... Yeah, he's in a really bad position here. The Coco could be the berry that the set that um, Flame Victini likes to run. That activates at 25% and heals you, but okay, it's a roost. It's also cool, but yeah, I don't think he's... Be I don't think Tamahomi can win this. There was some hacks against him, but... Yeah, the Hydro Pump missed. The Ferrothorn should have been... I think the Ferrothorn would have been dead without the miss. But yeah, that's Hydro Pump for you. 80% accuracy. If you use it multiple times in a row, of course it's gonna miss eventually. As he sacks off his good ninja for some reason. Probably predicted him. Nah, I don't understand that play. Like, if you break. I guess he predicted him to go into, into Tangrowth, but that was odd. That was very odd. So he expects this to not have HPIs, which it probably has um, Taunt and Edge's Madness, because this team looks weak to stall. I assume it's the st not. I don't want to call it Stallbreaker Coco. We saw Roost and T-Bolt, so I assume it's like Taunt and Edge's Madness, or you turn and Edge's Madness in the last slot. Pharaoh was in again, so he's just gonna knock off. Um, doubling into Coco here would be a pretty nice play, but. Like, if you double into Koku, you don't even gain much from that, because you can just go back. Like, breaking the pincer here doesn't really do much. I don't know why you let the Ferrothorn get knocked off. That wasn't... That was not the play, in my opinion. I don't agree with that one. Like, I might mispredict some turns, but this turn, I know for sure that pincer was fine. 
Cause like unless he had unless he had rock slide. Power ups again catches the Kelly on the switch. Dang. Nicky pretty much just loses to this feral thorn. Like if if it didn't get if he didn't let it get knocked off, this would just win, but for some reason he let it get knocked off. I guess HB has to try and catch the pincer on a switch, but pretty sure pincer lives that. I'd still go pincer. There's like some hope for Tamahomi now that the Pharaoh got knocked. But it's rough, it's pretty rough for him. Like, I, I don't know what he's doing. Like, why did he let this Pharaoh get knocked? This Yeah, Pinsy just took a shitload from this and Tapu Kuku, um, unless it's Earthquake, lifts any head. It's not Earthquake or he does it, doesn't want to go for it there. Um, Quick Attack might actually kill, yeah, this, this might have been a roll. But Starfrog Rock helped to bring it in range and Tangos just dies of frustration. And I'm pretty sure this is, um, yeah, this was game 3, Tamo is out of OST. We can check the thread real quick, we can see what's going on, who moved on to the next round. I think this was round 4. Chill Shadow 1. ABR 1, which is nice, let me like that. And I also like this one. Oh, I think Extra Shine lost. Oh, Pekka also lost. It's disappointing. Um, let me actually check Tama Homie's opponent's name. Because maybe. Yeah, he was called Jenny SP, so that was the correct name. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I know it wasn't the best narration or anything. I'm just getting back into the groove of recording. And I mean, I will probably upload this after SBL game, it's not sure. But I recorded it before SBL Sunday. Like, it's Sunday now, it's like 3 50 pm my time. And um, SBL should be coming in like 5 hours. There should be the games going on that are interesting. The Sunday Manuio ones. So, stay tuned for that. I'm Dr. Shen signing out. Peace, friends. Thank you for watching.